Welcome back at Noah's Art Campsite. If you're new to the channel, we, me and Lisa, we are a young couple, both 25 years, that left the city. Uh, we left actually from the Netherlands and we bought a land in Portugal where we are building our own farm and with the goal to become completely self-sustainable. So welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. Maybe give this video a like if you like it and tell your friends and family about it. All right, in this video, you will see how we proceed in our garden, how we made a toilet and how we made the stairs all the way up to the top. So enjoy watching the video. Look at what my handyman built for me. Yep, I'm putting some ropes up now so the tomatoes they can grow uh, along the rope because they like to go up, so yeah. So right here I've got some nutrients for the soil that go right into the ground. There was one little problem when we went to the market. We couldn't find nowhere any corn. So in the Netherlands it's mice. And yeah, so I bought a big sack of mice so I could feed it to the, to the chickens already so they can get used to, the, to that type of food. But I went to the shop and asked another guy if they had like little uh, corn plants. And he said, oh, you can just grab the mice and germinate the mice. So I did that and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. It's in a dark place, so it's a little bit dark here. This is the big bag that I bought, it was 12 euros. And this is the dark room where it's stored. I put a blanket over it. It is right here. I put some wet toilet paper, then I put the corn. And then another layer of wet toilet paper in a dark place and 48 hours it should germinate according to the guy from the shop. So let's see if he is right because that would be awesome because I have plenty of mice. I bought like this huge sack right here so we can do maybe many years with it. So uh, yeah, let's have a look how that process is going. Meanwhile Lisa is in the garden getting some stuff done. How is it going babe? Beautiful garden, the day cannot start better like this. Great! Love it! Look, I put some uh, ropes up, so now the tomato plants can be planted. We also have right there, we have some grapes. So meanwhile Lisa is busy in the garden, I'm gonna start a new project. The toilet. Yes, the toilet. We don't have one yet. We use a bucket or a plastic bag in the caravan now, but we want like a decent toilet because yeah, it's an important thing. So I'm going to build that right now. So the first thing I'm doing is positioning where the toilet is going to be. I decided to put it next to the orange tree, close to the garden. And that way we can have the compost place close by and can use it straight away in the garden when it's ready. So this is the place. I'm going to put the toilet. The first thing I did was I dug a little trench in the ground and I'm going to pour concrete in it as a foundation. And from there, I'm gonna make 50 centimeters high, a wall with stones and concrete. All right, but before I go into the part of pouring the concrete into the ground, I'm uh, making sure that the wood uh, sustains, you know, like I did with the chicken house. I'm giving it a coat with diesel and used oil so that it can dry up in the meantime. After that, I'm going to dig the holes for the poles. And when that is done, we put the poles in and at the same time make the basement for the toilet. All right, guys, so the ground is again very hard. It's just rock bottom stone. So I have to cut it out. So uh, it's very hard, little by little we go and uh, then the poles in, concrete in, let it dry for a day, probably tomorrow or the day after we can uh, finish this toilet. So let's go. All right guys, so we have two poles in right now. This side of the basement of the, the fundament is already in place. Now let's continue to the other two and then we can let it dry for a day, a day and a half until it gets very hard and now we can put the clothes on.
Wow, Lisa. The land looks great. Yes, it does. Hard work. But it is... Re yeah, it's rewarding, man. Look. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. It looks very smooth now. Tomorrow again. Give them some water. Every day a little bit of shuffling. And you also have to give them some shit, right? Yes. Some water tomorrow. A little bit of shuffling. A little bit of shit. The, <laughs> the shit you put on the plants to grow better. I don't know what the name is in English. You, you don't mean your shit, right? Not my shit. <laughs> Plant shit. I don't know. Well, here... The third pole is on the ground. Look, the wood looks beautiful again with that diesel and that used oil. All right, so time to give some shit to the soil so it can prepare because the tomato plants, they are still germinating down there, but probably tomorrow they will be transported to here. So I'm giving the earth some nice shit. So as an extra fertilizer, I went to the chicken house. I collected as much as shit as I could and put it in a bucket and added water. Now I have this nice bucket here. Oh, and stir it up. Down, down, down. And I'm going to add a little bit of that mixture in one, I don't know how you call it in English. So today I'm going to water it with some chicken manure plus water above that other shit i placed on every plant and vegetable that we have so far so they will have like a like a straight boost and then yeah every once in a week i'm planning to do this with the chicken poop and yeah let's see how that turns out to be it's just experimenting right what works good what doesn't work good so this is the first experiment let's see all right guys you must be wondering how can they Managed to do so much in such a short period of time. Well, there's a secret ingredient I haven't told you about, and that's this beautiful girl here next to me. She is a private cook and she can cook so good. She feeds us every day with delicious meals, and that's why we are so strong and we can do all the things we do. And look what she made today Nasi. Nasi. Wow, babe. Thank you. There you go. Bon appetit. We start the day with a, a hug with the chickens. But only the egg chickens because the yeah. other ones we don't want to get too attached with them. No, because they are going to get nuggets. <laughs> but those, they need a little bit of love. All right, guys. So I'm collecting a little bit of shit of the chickens and I'm going to give it to the flowers because I forgot to give it to them yesterday so uh, yeah I collected already quite a bit inside but I'm just going here I already collected the most this morning because I also gave in the greenhouse plant some chicken shit manure mix look 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 he's going to fly he's going to fly can you do it does he have the balls Sanchez is Sanchez going to do it Sanchez All right, guys, so I'm going to continue to build this toilet right here. As you can see, I have the four poles in the ground. Uh, I've got the basement fixed up, you see, with the concrete down here. Uh, now it's time to put like the, the overlayering uh, pieces of wood to the sides and the front, a door and a roof, of course. Uh, it's not going to be this high. I'm going to cut off a little piece. And then uh, after that is done, we move to the inside. And the inside is going to be a little bit more specific job, but uh, I think I can manage to do it, you know. And while I'm doing this, Lisa is picking the first oranges. Hey! Make some orange jam or marmalade. Nice. Yes. I told you she is a private cook. <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> tree and we need to use every fruit an edible thing that we have on the land so i'm going to make jam of it and you will see the result later all right so the status of the shed house <laughs> unfortunately there got there is some uh some fudge on the wood uh because i forgot to let them breathe i just got them on one staple without separation in between so 
unfortunately it has a little bit of fog now but uh, i have to, i can rub it with the, the special paper you know what i mean and then give it a treatment and then it should be all right so uh, in between i did another small job it's for the pepino that's cucumber and pickles it looks like this it's maybe a little bit difficult to see now but it's just a tea and with some ropes so uh here you see the small pickles there the pepino the cucumber and here as you knew the tomatoes so i was low on energy again so i did again a siesta hopefully i can finish this uh this house for the biggest part so i only have to do the door but i have to wait again for, for the guy that brings the wood uh, i ordered more wood chips so we can finish the the roads in the garden and i ordered also some extra stuff that i need to make the door in here so yeah he's supposed to be here one week ago already because i already was thinking in advance i was like all right i order it now and then he will be on time but <laughs> nope everything tranquilo here and they taking their time so uh let's see when he comes and um, tomorrow the guy of the electricity comes because we already have the electricity cable laid and fixed up here but it's not approved yet by the authorities of portugal so tomorrow that uh, that guy comes the, the that officer or whatever and he comes to check if everything is done safely so he comes has a look he gives us a paper that it's safe and then we can sign a contract with the energy company and then we have our own electricity <clears throat> because now we use the electricity of the neighbors again the very kind neighbors what would we be without them so uh, yeah let's see how far we can get today and day by day we come a little bit closer we're moving fast so let's go all right so the roof is fixed the walls are fixed i already started on the inside i forgot to film a little bit so uh, i give you a quick update come a little closer right here i'm making a box and in the middle there will be a hole so yeah it will look like this with the bucket in the middle and then afterwards when the uh, on the side here there will be a, a place for the sawdust so when you're done going to the toilet you pick the sawdust throw it in the bucket so there's a layer of sawdust over your thing you do and then when the bucket is full it goes into the big tank and there it can compost for probably around half a year it has to sit there when that bucket that ton is completely full and then it is compost and we can use it uh, we plan to use it for not for our vegetables but for bamboo so bamboo is easy to grow and yeah very handy when you need some sticks for flowers to grow or vegetables you know it's in the store it, uh, it's quite expensive to buy bamboo but it grows super fast and super cheap so we plan to do it like that so let's see uh, how it goes with the toilet when it's done Okay. Ready to poo. All right, guys. So, almost the end result. Uh, yeah, let's have a look what I did. This is how it looks. We have this thing that we found next to the road. You remember? Uh, we're going to fill this with toilet paper. Uh, yeah. This is the bucket. It fits in here perfectly. See. Just like that, it seals perfectly. Bam! See, and when you're done, going to the toilet, you open it up, pick a little bit, throw it in, close it when it's full, 
it goes into the big tank right here so uh so far the toilet is actually finished only the door has to come in but we are thinking if we do a closed door or if we do some fabric to um yeah just so it can breathe you know air in and out or that we make a closed door i don't have the wood yet the guy still hasn't arrived so at this point i can't do much actually so um yeah let's see and just do it like this i mean it's a nice it's a nice view where you when you're taking the shit <laughs> look it's not too bad right just imagine when this whole garden is green with fruits and vegetables and you sit here like a king. All right. <laughs> All right, now that the toilet is finished so far, uh, we can go uh, and look at the, how the germinating of the corn is going so we can plant the corn in some earth. But before I'm going to do that, it's lunchtime. And Lisa has again did a wonderful job in the kitchen. Look. Oh, I love it. You can make me happy with a lot of eggs, but I guess you could already know that or guess that if you look at a chicken house, right? <laughs> All right. Well, that lunch was delicious. Now, uh, I supposed to go to the germinating of the corn, but uh, first I go and do something in the, in the toilet because there was, like I showed you in the beginning, there was some fudge on the wood because I let it sit on each other for too long without putting uh, sticks in between so it could breathe. So yeah, it looks now like this. Black. And I will show you the end result. So this is how it looks afterwards. Still doesn't look how it should look like originally, but, but now it hangs up. It can dry a little bit and then after around a week we will treat the wood. Uh, at the same time that we treat the wood at the chicken house. So we give it one more week because we have some heat coming up uh, above 30 degrees. So yeah, when the heat is over, we're going to treat it. The most of the water and moisture is out of the wood and then we go and treat it and then it should be, yeah, it, over time it will look beautiful. And it's just a shit house, you know. It's all, it's all right how it is. <laughs> so the germinating goes very well. Let's have a look. As you can see, you already see that it's germinating underneath. For example, here. You can see it very well. So, I'm going to look if we still have these trays so I can put them in the earth and then let them sprout a little bit and then they can go into the land. Good morning, guys. Uh, yesterday evening we had a delicious barbecue again. We drank a little bit too much gin tonic. But uh, so a little hangover, but in the morning at seven o'clock, there was the guy finally with the wood chips and the look, the wood chips. And he brought some uh, wood so I can make the doors. There's Lisa. Morning. Morning, baby. Look at her farming on Ux. <laughs> it's a vibe, huh? It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Giving the plants some water. Good job, Bon. The plants seem to do not too good in this heat. I don't know. Maybe it's it's too hot or whatever. We don't know what it is. But some of them do good. But for example, the strawberries, not so good. The tomatoes also don't look too good. But in the greenhouse, they do look good. Yeah, so, we're going to give them more water. So probably they need more water. So we give them every morning now also. So two times a day, in the morning and in the evening. So let's see if that helps. Next up, what are we going to do? We go to the uh, back part of the, the vegetable garden, of the Garden of Eden. And we already plotted the ground yesterday. As you can see, my hands are full with blasters. Yes, it was hard work. <laughs> it was hard work, we did it by hand. And then you really appreciate that there are machines to do that work. But yeah, maybe in the future we buy one ourselves. It was a good workout. Yep. And after that, we deserve that barbecue, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, now we have to go and get all the, the weeding out of it because we plotted it and now it's in between the ground. So we have to take it out. And then the germinated uh, corn can go into the ground. So that's what we're going to do. And after that, we're going to finish the pathway because now we have the wood chips. Let's go. 
All right, so this will be the place for the corn. How's it going? <laughs> shuffling, shuffling. So we plotted it yesterday, as you can see over there, and now we're making it flat, getting all the greens uh, out that are uh, hard to get out. And the stones, because we have a lot of stones on our land, but uh, we do them next to the sideway, but we need to get them out first. Yep, and then we probably will use them because the pathway will come here next to the fencing. Yeah. Look, Kevin, Kevin. Get in. All right, so the result, this is how it was before. This is how it is now. Good job, honey. All right, guys, so we are here now at a, at a spring, uh, like a river beach, it's called like that. And look what we found. It's like the skin of a snake. Yeah. Maybe some of you are from the States or Australia or whatever, but we are from Europe and we are not used to this type of shit. <laughs> it's huge. It reskins. Oh. But it's time to go and have a nice swim here at the waterfall. So uh, yeah, it's good to relax as well sometimes. Let's go. All right, that was a delicious afternoon. Very relaxed, not too much work. It was very hot. It was. 32 degrees so yeah now the sun is going down and we can do some work so I plan to finally put the corn into the ground I was talking about putting them in some small cups of earth first but I looked up and corn can be placed directly in the ground let me show you how it looks right now you see that they are sprouting there so right now we're going to make lines straight lines and there we are going to plant this area full of corn Let's do it. All right, guys, as you can see, it's finished now. We got all the corns in. This will be the strip for the corn. I made a few lines. You can probably see it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six lines, so I don't know. I put two corn seeds that germinated in every hole. So probably every hole that's planted, there should come something out. Uh, but it's the first time for us that we, for me at least, that I plant anything like this. You know, it's like a game. <laughs> farming, farming this, planting this. Let's see how it goes. I gave them a lot of water already. It's super hot here and some plants, they just, they look, they seem to do very good in the beginning. And then afterwards, they, they look a little bit like they're dying. Maybe it's because of that poop I gave of the chickens. I don't know. Uh, but probably not because I think that's nutrient full and you know they like nutrients so let's see most of the things are doing great anyway and some of them are recovering some of them not really yeah they dried out so yeah let's see good morning guys another new day and today Lisa starting off with watering the plants again I'm going to make another thing like that over there for what kind of plants babe for the peas for the peas because they also like to grow up in the air after that i will pick the wood chips and we'll make the pathway and after that i go to the stairs and try to get as far as possible today and what are you going to do i'm going to plant some plants again i will let you see because a lot of plants are growing big in the greenhouse so i can plant them in the full ground and I will help with the pathway with the stones. Oh yeah. And planting the peas also. I want to make jam because we had a lot of strawberries from the neighbors. So I want to make jam out of it. Oh yeah, and on 10 o'clock there are people coming for a well. Maybe we're going to put a well, but we want to have people over to tell us how much it costs and things. So. Yeah, we, had, we need the professionals to come over, have a look where the best place would be for a well, what the price will be and stuff. So yeah, they're coming today at 10 and uh, yeah, we'll keep you uh, updated on that. Some beans. 
which I germinated. And as you can see, they rooted quite nice. You see oh yeah, a lot of roots. So Joop made another one beautiful tea and I just made some holes and I made it a little bit wet so that it's nice and moist when I put them in the ground. Ooh, we like moist give, holes, uh, right? <laughs> and I'm going to give them a nice uh, warm home. Mm -hmm. Hoppa! Wow! <laughs> okay, so the guys for the well uh, just left. Amazing, right? How they search for water. Uh, I think I saw it as a child in some cartoon or whatever, and I thought this is fake or fantasy or whatever, but it really works. You saw how that steel thing just went down, and there's the water. It's a little bit magic. I don't know how that works or, you know, it's a little bit too much to comprehend. But anyway, we found a spot where the well can be placed. Uh, the price was also not as much as we expected it to be. So uh, we pay for only the whole three and a half thousand euros. And with the pump and cable work and everything, a total around five thousand. I thought it would be more to the ten thousand. So it's a little bit a positive thing so yeah let's see in the upcoming weeks months whenever we uh, we have the time to move to that project we can start doing that the first thing we got to do right now is to ask permission from the council of Portugal whatever the jurisdiction here is crazy but they would do that for us so yeah let's see and uh, then we would have our own well that would all right guys so I finished with the pot now uh, this afternoon we went to some friends we met in the supermarket. They are also from the Netherlands. We had a few beers. Very nice people. Uh, so yeah, we got back. I finished the pathway and I finished the, the finishing touch with the toilet. This is how the toilet looks right now. I put some wood chips on the ground, some extra stones here uh, for the toilet paper. It's great, right? I'm very happy with it. So what are we going to do next? That's a good question. Uh, no, it's not a good question. I already said it. I said I was going to go to the stairway and I'm going to do that, but ah, we're going for a barbecue in a few minutes. So I don't know if I can get one in, but I'm going to try it. Let's see. Stairs looks like this now. I'm going to show you. <coughs> But now the hardest part comes because this is quite rocky as you can see, a lot of rocks. <clears throat> and the degree going upwards is very sharp. So you see like this, you have all these stones in here and everything and we have to go up there. So it's going to be quite a job. I'm going to try to get one step in today and after that, it's time for a barbecue once again because it's 32 degrees today and what's better than cooking on a fire I mean what's a house without a place for a campfire and to cook outside I really question myself why people don't have that in their homes in the Netherlands I mean the food tastes so much better than a gas barbecue or induction plates or whatever like on the fire is the best of the best and I love it we can do all right guys so it's time for that delicious barbecue i was talking about yeah. my wife my girl made a delicious salad again we have some lamb chicken i don't know what that i probably sausages. that's sausages nice fire with the view of course so have a great night we will enjoy it Peace out. Ah, it's going pretty good, isn't it? It is amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. He goes so fast. 
well fast. There's a lot of rocks in here, and you know, and as you can see, only maybe two two more steps here, and maybe three or four there, and then it's all done. Looks amazing. Thanks, baby. Good work. All right, guys. I made it to the almost upside. The last bit is in here. Let's have a look. So this is the last part that we have to go up, and uh, after that, we're uh, we're done with the stairs. All right. So I am done with the stairs. Look, I'm on the upper terrace. We go all the way down here. Very nice again with the stones, of course. We go all the way down. So. There's only one thing left to do, and that's getting the wood chips on the entire stairs. And then the stairs is done to the upper terrace. So let's see how it's going to look with the wood chips. All right, guys, so I finally got the stairs fixed up. Poof. Going up with this one on the stairs. That's, <laughs> it's not an easy job, but I managed to do it and all the wood chips are in place. Let's have a look. So it looks like this going up and then here is a split and here we go to the chill area. You can see my hammock right there and eventually I'm going to make here some steps as well to the downside so you can go directly to the garden in two different ways. So but that's probably for another day or another time. It doesn't have priority if you know what I mean. Uh, but it's an amazing spot. Look, you have the rocks right here. And you now it's full of leaves, but in the end we can make a lounge set or whatever. We can make it very beautiful. And the view, that's what makes this spot probably the one of the best places to make a, a lounge or whatever. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Gardner! Hello, guys. I am planting some Brussels sprouts. I'm English, I love Brussels sprouts. What can you do about it? Um, and as you can see, it's going, it's becoming bigger. The Garden of Eden is going very well. Some plants didn't survive because of the heat. Uh, they become very dry and they died. Uh, but as you can see, what I did with the strawberries, I put some hay on it. So Lisa put some hay in between the little strawberry plants and that will keep the the moist yeah. in the ground right it will keep the ground very moist and when i give them water the water will stay in the ground so i think i saved them they look already better than the day before it's not a sunny day today it's uh, cloudy so that's also very nice for the plants but uh, i'm going to uh, keep up with my work and uh, let the garden of eden grow nice but what did we do today we went to the market right again and we bought two beautiful trees fruit trees they are there and i think we are going to plant them also in the vegetable garden because when they will become big the plants will have a little bit shadow as well and fruit trees are uh, rich it's very nice if you have good fruit trees that give a lot of fruits so uh let's expand All right, guys, this video is probably long enough once again. So it's time to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. That comes first. If you like it, please uh, subscribe to your channel because we just started on our road to this farm. There will be tiny houses. There will be a well, you know, it will be beautiful. There were a lot of projects upcoming here on this land. So if you want to follow that, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our things and you can learn from that as well or maybe just amusing you so if you like the video please give the video a like leave in the comments what you think about what we do maybe some tips or whatever if you ever want to come here to camp for a night while we build this we uh, can arrange something probably and uh, yeah if you want to see more videos of what we did before, you can watch that right here. 
and if you want to subscribe to our channel you can do that right here thank you for watching and don't forget to tell your friends and family about noah's art campsite adios <laughs>